Hi, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, in last episode, we went ahead and made ourselves some potions, and in this episode, we're gonna do a little bit more of that, but uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit for a different cause. Last time we were building to go to our ocean monument, this time we are doing it in order to get a few achievements. Now, let's just go ahead and open up the achievements list right away. Now, you can see that we've obtained quite a few, actually an impressive amount, uh, but th there are a few things that I would like to go after today that are very specific. First of all, I'd like to get us some cake. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the lie achievement today, as well as I would really like to get the overkill deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. Now, that involves uh, us making some potions, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I think that's about it. Oh, wait, if we can, we're going to try to get the sniper duel as well. Um, which reminds me, when I was setting up for this video, I may have seen a skeleton out in the water. No, it looks like he's gone now. He was around that area when... Uh, when I was getting ready to record, it looks like it looks like he left. That's all right. Uh, I'm sure we'll find one, or if not, we can always wait for night. Now, to go ahead and get started, let's uh, let's start by going into our valuables chest and go ahead and looking for buckets. It doesn't look like we have any, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make two more buckets right away, just so that we have them. Because I don't know if you know this, but the crafting recipe for milk, uh, or not for milk, for uh, our cake is it requires three buckets of milk now that seems like a lot but realistically uh the cake is, is definitely worth it uh in the long run so let's go ahead and swim over to this boat and then we'll get over to our um <laughs> we'll get over to our, our cows which we haven't visited in a while so they're probably a little bit mad at us but uh, i'm not too worried about it uh, we also are going to want to look for our sugar or stop at our sugar cane farm get some sugar from there we also need wheat and i believe we already have eggs so we should be good on that now let's go ahead and ease up here so we don't break the boat. Please don't break. Don't leave us either, please. Uh, let's go ahead and, and fill up these. Now right-click cows and you get, obviously, milk. Now milk has several different effects on you. Uh, if you don't know about this already, milk can not only uh, satiate a little bit of hunger, but it can also cure you of illnesses. So let's say that I drank a, a potion of poison or, or I accidentally ate a puffer fish or something like that. Uh, or, or let's say you got in a fight with a witch. I mean, that's a good enough reason as any. Uh, you can go ahead and drink milk and it will get rid of the the negative effects i'm not sure i think it may also get rid of the positive effects i believe so just keep that in mind when you're using the milk now let's go ahead and grab our next thing we didn't stop at our sugarcane farm so i'm hoping that we have some up here we do good uh we're not going to need that much and then we're also going to need oh uh, where is an egg i thought we had one Hold on, let me let me take a look around here. I, I could have sworn. Oh, we do have eggs. That's what I thought. It was in one of these chests. Okay. So now we have, I think, all the basic ingredients besides our two pieces of wheat. Or is it three pieces of wheat? So I was wrong. It is three pieces of wheat. Uh, it's no big deal, though. Let's go ahead and create our cake. Now, cake is made with three pieces of wheat on the bottom. Our milk at the top. Oh, you know what? I am wrong. I, I, need, to, I need to back up. For a second here, we need to go ahead and make our sugar first. I apologize about that. So now we'll take the sugar and we'll lay it down here and here. And then we'll put the egg right in the middle and our three pieces of wheat along the bottom. And then our our milk along the top. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some jumping around. There we go. We got our achievement. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys just so, so you see what it is. Wheat, sugar, milk, and eggs. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and lay down this cake. Um, we'll do it on top of the oven because that seems like, like an appropriate place to place the cake. It's, it's uh, As you can see, it's, it counts as a half of a block, so you can walk right up like that. Uh, but now there's an interesting about thing about cake. Now I'm hoping that I'll, I'll actually let my hunger as we work go down, and I'll show you a little bit more about the cake then. I believe that's the best choice. So there's one more thing I actually wanted to make. It's something that I have never personally made in uh, in vanilla Minecraft because it was just added in 1.8. Uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need one baked potato. We are going to need our raw rabbit, but let's go ahead and cook that to make it no longer raw rabbit. Uh, it looks like we don't have any coal in any of our furnaces, so we'll grab some out of there. And we'll just go ahead and power this baby up. And we'll keep our cake nice and warm, I guess. Uh, or we'll heat it up for the first time. We'll cook it on top of our 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 furnace okay so i remember that there is i believe awesome so there is there are carrots down here very very cool so let's go ahead and grab one carrot i think that's all we need hold on let me think about it um oh you know what we need to grab our uh what is it mushroom we need to grab mushrooms or a mushroom uh, i think it's in the natural chest correct yes we need to grab a regular mushroom uh there are two different kinds of mushroom obviously clearly they don't stack but they have the same item name so you got to make sure that you grab them run with the right texture uh now all we need to do is we need to make 
One more thing here, and we'll go ahead and go in here. Now, this is, a, this is wood. You can use any kind of wood for this. We're only going to need three pieces of wood. And it, just like we made the buckets with the three pieces of iron, we're going to do the same with wood. Now, this will give us four bowls, which is very cool. Um, so that we can we can use or we can make multiple bowls of something. Now the thing uh, about th bowls of food is they do not stack, no matter what it is, unless it's what we're making right now or mushroom stew. Uh, bowls do not stack naturally. So let's go ahead and make what I what I was planning. Now we have all the oh you know what? I did not grab the final ingredient. I apologize about that. We'll grab this guy from right here, and we will go ahead and put all of this together in our crafting table. Uh, just just like this and there we go we get our rabbit stew so to tell you a little bit about rabbit stew it actually restores 10 hunger which is absolutely amazing um it's it's very very usable or it's it's five of those those lamb shank things that we're looking at right now on our hot bar um but yeah it restores that now i'm not getting hungry yet so we clearly can't eat the cake so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next task for the day which is uh going ahead and uh, getting this achievement right here the overkill achievement deal nine hearts of damage now I know my sword, when I ho hover over it, it says it has 10.75 attack damage. Now, we need to remember that that is actually different. Uh, it says 10.75, but what it really means is it's 5 hearts of damage, or 5.5 just about uh, hearts of damage, a little bit under that. And so, so what we need to do is we actually need to buff our strength a little bit. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to go into the nether, and we're going to go collect our next ingredient to our potion. So let's go ahead and hop into the nether here. Now, I remember our way around, hopefully, and if you don't remember, when we enchanted our armor, which we are wearing our new armor still, uh, it has fire protection on it, so we should be okay to fight some, some blazes, uh, that is what we need to fight, in order to harvest the, their blaze rods, and blaze rods turn into blaze powder, and that's exactly what we need to make our strength potions. I will go ahead and uh, get the blazes, and I will be back with you guys, or I'll show you guys me fighting them, and I'll be back with you guys uh, back at the portal, I'm sure. Okay, so we are at the nether fortress now. Hopefully these blazes will start spawning here in a second. We'll go ahead and go down here, and they are right over there. You can see the spawner. So we're going to take our, our sweet time here and take a look around, make sure there's no withers coming up behind us. I actually see a blaze over there, so we're going to make our way over there first. Now let's go ahead and charge up our bow, because the more distance we can keep between us and a blaze, the better. Uh, there we go, and we got one of him. But I don't think he dropped anything. And let's kill these, these uh, this, this... Uh, lava, lava cube, I believe they're called. Uh, they have an awesome drop. If we could get them to drop uh, what we needed. Now let's go ahead and kill all the little guys too, because they will light you on fire if you let them touch you. Uh, we also are gonna hit this blaze just so he doesn't get us. And there we go. Now I killed all of those. Uh, I think there may be more hopping around somewhere down there, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to mess with those. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any drops that we wanted. So let's go ahead and go back to that other spawner a little bit closer to uh, home. And there are, there seem to be some blazes over here as well. But there's a wither skeleton and a normal skeleton. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect time to try to get our achievement, our, our very long distance achievement. Uh, what is it? It's 50, 50 uh, blocks away, I believe, because one block is one yard. Uh, I think that's how they do the measuring in this. So let's go ahead and keep backing up. Okay, and we're going to have to run so that he doesn't catch up to us. Please don't catch up to us. And where'd he go? Where... Why'd he turn that way? Are you serious? He's using the our old technique on us where, where he, he waits till we pull him close. And he's going to sneak attack us. That's not fair. Okay, so I don't know that we'll get it on him if unless we run pretty fast here. And then turn and fire like that. Oh, we got him, but we didn't get the achievement. Maybe we have to do all the hits at that distance. Okay, I heard this guy sneak it up on me. Let's go ahead and take him out. Awesome. Now, uh, let's go ahead and test the rabbit stew because it looks like our hunger's down enough. I know we wanted to test the cake, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. We'd rather have our, our hunger full here so that if we fight anything. And look at that. It is the five ticks of hunger, which is absolutely amazing. That is huge. It's very resource intensive, though. So uh, it may not be our best choice right, right in the beginning. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to that blaze spawner that we, we saw right in the beginning that we keep trying to make our way to, but uh, keep getting a little bit distracted. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and, and wait on hopefully some some blazes to spawn. Come on, guys. I'm really afraid that like we're going to be standing there and then they're all just going to swarm us. Um, there they are. Okay, so remember we have a little bit of fire protection on us, but we got to work fast, so hopefully they don't light us on fire. Um Okay, so we I think we got five. Oh, we have five blaze rods. Okay, that should be enough. Um, that, that I, I, did we grab some blaze rods from one of the other 
one of the other blazers because that that's a lot of blaze rods i'm not gonna lie did that one guy drop five blaze rods i don't think so but like i said guys i, I will see you guys once uh once we get back to the house all right now we are home uh let's go ahead and make our way back upstairs as you can see i let my hunger kind of fall as we were running back so i could show you guys the cake uh let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and right click it right now so watch watch as we as we go as you can see, I took out a chunk of cake. Uh, one slice. I'm not sure exactly how many. I'm sure we can eat the whole thing here so I can tell you the exact number. I believe it's eight, though. Uh, it, it does exactly one thing of hunger, one 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 ham hock or one lamb chop or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so let's go ahead and eat this all the way up until we can't eat it anymore and see exactly how many. So that's two, three, four, five, six... Okay, so it was only six, So, but I mean, it, it's six things of health. I don't know that it's worth it. It's pretty cool because then you can lay it down. You can you can eat a little bit. You can eat a little bit later, uh, especially if your hunger is not super important uh, or it's, it's, it's something that you don't really need to maintain uh, while, while you're at home. You, you know, it's something that you can just right click and, and then you don't have to eat at all. You can get the perfect amount of hunger for what you're doing. Now, we did go to the nether and we got our blaze rods. We're not going to make all of this into... Actually, you know what we are, because I can't think of any recipes that use blaze rods besides our potion stands, and we don't need to be using that anymore. But blaze rods, are, or blaze powder, which is what we just made, uh, can be used for many things. It can be used to be combined with our ender pearls and make eye of enders, which will lead us to the end. Uh, so that is very cool. But let's go ahead and do this right away. Now you can see that I, I've, this whole time, I've had three glass bottles in my, or, or six glass bottles, I should say, in my inventory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill those up right away just by right clicking as per usual. And then we're going to go ahead and make our, our standard awkward potions. I'll be back with you guys here in a second when they are done brewing. Okay, so I went ahead and I added the blaze powder right away uh, so that you guys didn't have to watch me do it. Now, as you can see, the potions are 3 minutes and 130% attack damage. Now, this is not exactly what we were going for. So, I have this glowstone. I grabbed it from upstairs. Now, I need to tell you a little bit about glowstone. You probably saw me craft it. It's just 2 by 2 in the crafting table, so you can make it right here by filling all the slots with glowstone. But I need to show you something uh, that, that you probably should know. Glowstone will not always drop four pieces of glow of glowstone dust in this case it did but like i said it it not always will it so you need to be careful about how many you collect versus how many how many you're going to want to put up in your house so keep an eye on that now usually we would add redstone obviously because the last potions that's what we did uh but that's because we wanted to increase duration now we're going to want to increase the potency uh like i said i've shown all this to you guys uh, in the episode prior but i figured i'd, I'd just go ahead and make them and, and, and cover this a little bit now let's run upstairs and we'll drop off our glowstone while those guys go ahead and brew now this should be interesting uh we'll also leave this blaze powder up here just in case uh this should be pretty interesting now that we have everything ready to go um let's go ahead and eat up and we'll take out our potions of strength two now potions of strength two clearly very strong if you didn't if you cannot see what i'm fast clicking there uh one 260 percent attack damage so hopefully that means that with our sharpness three and 10.7 attack it'll increase it to 20 point or 21.5 attack damage which is 10 and a quarter hearts i believe um so let's go ahead and actually we don't have a potions chest, do we? You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and leave it with uh, the wool for now because we don't really have any use for the wool or uh, chest right now. So, yeah, let's go ahead and leave these. Now, we are going to go ahead and wait for night. I believe it's it should be coming night soon. What is it? Oh, it's about 12 o'clock. Sun is up and high. Uh, yeah, so I will go ahead and wait around for nighttime to happen. And when it does, I will be back with you guys and we will go ahead and go fight some, some, uh, some mobs. Okay, and we are back. As you can see... The sun is currently setting, and hopefully some uh, some evil mobs are spawning here pretty soon. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, I was thinking about drinking a potion of night vision, but now that I think about it, I don't think it'll be worth it. Um, but we'll go ahead and wait for, for some, some bad guys to spawn. Maybe we should go out away from our home just so we don't attract any bad attention to our home, like with creepers and all that stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and... 
uh, go over this way and we'll grab our boat and we'll go over over there I think and, and be a little bit more safe about this let's hop on in and head on over uh, Ooh, what did I get stuck on there that was a little odd no problem now we will go ahead and hmm how nice the color changes and everything are very cool in this game uh, ooh, ooh, there's there's a skeleton okay what if we get really far away from him in a boat does that count Okay, so this is this is a pretty good distance, right? It's this has got to be a pretty good distance. And hopefully, this creeper isn't seeing me. Um, let's go ahead and try to get it. Come on, please, in a boat. No, he didn't. He didn't get hit. But that, nope. What's happening to my arrows? Am I even firing arrows? One more try from the boat. Okay, it doesn't look like we're firing arrows. What what's up with that? I think it's a it's a glitch with the boat. Let's go ahead and and swim, I guess. And hup. see that time it fired. And one more. Hup. Ooh, that was off. Come on. Oh, we got him, but we didn't get the achievement. Was it really not far enough? Maybe if we get over to this shore and try to shoot that guy. It's supposed to be about 50 blocks. I don't know the length of 50 blocks, but if I had to guess, that was about it. Hold on. Let's swim swim nice and slow, I guess, over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to hit this guy then. I know he's really far away for you guys to see, but I'll do my best to hit him a first few tries. One shot, not high enough. Two shots. Oh, we got him. Oh, we killed him, and we got the achievement sniper duel. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, here it is, right here. Uh, kill a skeleton with an arrow with, from more than 50 meters. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and try to get overkill. Deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. Now, in order to increase our odds, I think I'm going to jump up and then hit because then we have the uh, opportunity to get a critical as well. Let's go ahead and drink our potion. Now, we have strength two for a minute and 30 seconds, and that's still 10 damage. So let's go ahead and, and like I said, I'll, I'll jump when I, when, I, when I attack. So I'll just do this and then... Ooh, and the achievement overkill right away. That is so awesome that we got these back-to-back. -back. Uh, deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. That is amazing. And it was a one-hit kill on a skeleton, which really shows you the strength and the power of these of these potions and, and what they can really do. Let's go ahead and swim out. There are some Endermen over there, and we're going to go fight them as long as we have the strength potions because uh, we need their Ender Pearls very badly so, especially if we plan on going to the end here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get in our boat, hopefully. And we will we will full charge over there because I, I don't really care if we lose the boat. There are Creepers to our left and Spiders to our... Sp creepers to our right and Spiders to our left. We get all of them. Ooh, look how strong that strength potion is. Oh, man, did you see how quick we wrecked all of those? That was absolutely ridiculous. I don't think we got any Ender Pearls, but, I mean, wow. The strength of these potions is absolutely ridiculous, you guys. Um, just, just another awesome showcase of that. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover those few things uh, in, in like what we can craft with potions. And, and I wanted to get us a few achievements because we haven't gotten some in a little while. We've been covering potions for a very long time, or at least it feels. So now we've got some achievements out of the way. And hopefully we're one step closer to sieging the water castle. Uh, I honestly feel like we should bring some, some of these strength potions down. Especially for when we're fighting the final guy in that in that uh, ocean temple or what is it called ocean monument i apologize i always forget it's because it's so new that that i i, uh, I miss it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember if you liked it like i just said uh, remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button uh, i am also over on twitch uh twitch.tv slash rope trick i stream 11 a.m central time to 4 or 3 p.m. Central Time, depending on how I'm feeling that day. Uh, I'm working on a custom pack right now, and I'm really having a good time, so you should totally check that out. I will uh, see you guys later, and I hope you have a great day.